Inspired by Egypt's revolution, artworks adorn walls across the streets of Cairo. Commemorating the extraordinary events in the country since the January 25 uprising, they now form the backdrop to everyday life. The street art takes several forms, but most are outpourings of pride. Raise your head up high, you are Egyptian, the graffiti on this downtown wall proclaims. But along with such sentiments comes a concerted effort from some to commemorate those that lost their lives during the revolution. Outside Egypt's high court in downtown Cairo, this portrait simply reads, Marta, Sif Allah Mustafa, 16 years old, student. Sif was one of the hundreds who lost their lives in the struggle to oust former President Hosni Mubarak from power. One human rights group says almost 700 people died in the uprising, although official statistics put the number closer to 400. Artist Mohammed Fahmi, or MOFA, is behind this project to create murals for the martyrs. I think, yes, it's a good idea to, to name streets after them, but um, if, if a person, a normal person like you or me walks down the street, named after a martyr, it won't have as much of an impact on the person as, as if, you know, as staring at, looking at a, a big mural of the martyr. So I think it's, its importance is, uh, is its effect on people on a daily basis walking by it and looking at it. Um, and I think it's a good reminder of, a uh, good reminder, it's a constant reminder of the revolution and, 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 and the, 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 the reasons behind the revolution. And, Mofa and his team of volunteers plan to continue to create murals for martyrs across Cairo. Here the team are starting work on their second project. Creating the mural is a whole day's work. Having printed 11 stencils, they then set to work on cutting them out. One of the volunteers explains that he wanted to come and help out as part of a move by the people to reclaim the streets from Mubarak and the old regime. Many people throw garbage on the street because they, they don't feel the sense of belonging to the place. They don't feel this is our home, it belongs to someone else. It's like invaded, it was, Egypt was invaded by a gang. Or, mm. So now people start to feel, oh, I don't have to throw garbage, I don't have to destroy things, I have to think more because now I'm getting back my home, I'm getting back my, f my freedom which I didn't have before. It's, it's like a newborn, you know. And, yeah, it's, it's beautiful, it's spreading everywhere, the spirits, everybody would like to do anything to help uh, this image of the revolution. Having finished the preparation, the real work begins, painting the portrait in a public space. Medan Felaki in downtown Cairo is the chosen location. Instantly crowds gather to see what the commotion is about. When they find out, many offer a helping hand. This ladder was lent to the project by members of the local community. During the previous project, passers-by offered to go and buy paint and supplies. Onlookers are supportive of the group's efforts. Work on the mural goes on through the night. The next morning, the mural is seen complete. Marta, Islam Rafat, 18 years old. The portrait is now another part of Cairo's cityscape, another piece in the city's rich history. Their purpose is to ensure that the people never forget those among them who died for a free Egypt, one which they themselves will never experience. Simon Hanna in Cairo for a Harman Line.